All right, I did it again. It's six something in the darn morning. It's Saturday. I don't remember the darn day grand rise, and I'm really not in the mood for it, to be honest with you. I heard the stupid big ass rat in my fucking room again, so I didn't really get no damn sleep. I've been up since I heard the fucking. And, um, yeah, I'm really fucking tired as hell. I'm already pissed off from last night, which I still got to update y'all on that. And yesterday, which I still got to post all that other stuff. But I wanted to show y'all something. So, walk with me. Do y'all see the ceiling? Do y'all see the lump right there? Damn, why can't I do this right? Damn, long way. All right, don't don't tease me, y'all, but because of my brain issues, I'm having a hard time with my left and my right. But y'all see the dip right there? And I really hope the camera's watching me do this. But y'all see the dip right there? This is right in front of my room. This is the ceiling to the rooms upstairs. This is already falling. When White Boy was working here, he pointed it out to Roy. Roy was like, oh, well, there's nothing we could do about it. Yeah, so if this bitch falls, then what? Okay, well, that's one. The other part is, I just got my electrical wheelchair yesterday. Oh, my God, my skin is starting to look bad again. Fuck, which means my potassium and my iron has to be low again. Damn it, man. But these doctors keep telling me that my stuff is fine, though. My stuff is fine. Like, I don't know my own damn body. Oh, my God, yo. And I just stepped on something cold. Okay, look at this curve. Y'all see the curve? Okay. They expect me to get my own ramp so I can get my wheelchair up and down this sidewalk. My own ramp so that I can get my electrical wheelchair up and down that curb. Even though if you go onto the website of Birchwood Suites, newportnews.com, I think it is, or is newportnewsva.com, it'll say all the way at the bottom that this location is handicap accessible. On this entire property of this side of the hotel, where it's not the condemned side, well, this whole entire hotel is condemned, I'm sorry, but then it's not the closed side. And from my understanding, when I wheeled myself to go get to Lano yesterday and I had to wheel myself past the closed side, none of this is handicap accessible. But I have to get my own ramp. This is what I was told, okay? To get my own ramp, all right? So now I'm still, <laughs> still locked on this property. But like Jeannie joked, at least you can get down that side and at least you can get down that side over there. But I can't get to the office or to the front because this sidewalk does not wrap around. I would still have to find how to get the wheelchair off. Ride down the driveway and get the wheelchair back onto the other sidewalk. And mind you, the wheelchair is not light, okay? White boy even struggled, and white boy could lift Delano up, all right? So how are myself, who has no stability, oh, my back, or Beba, or Delano, supposed to do this, okay? Then, you see the stoop? I can get my wheelchair off of the stoop. I can't get my wheelchair back on the stoop to get into the room. And now, since everybody on this property want to be fucking funny from the office, I'm going to start being even a bigger bitch. Even a bigger bitch, okay? Because I walked on this property, and I'm going to have to wheel myself off of this property. And all of this became worse from no fridge. All right, there was no reason for me to ever end up in nobody's fucking wheelchair. So the property don't give a fuck. So I don't give a fuck about the fucking property. And I didn't call code of compliance directly myself. So at this point, it's going to get to, I'm going to call fucking code of compliance directly my motherfucking self. 
And if none of us have nowhere to go, like none of us have nowhere to go, then my apologies to everybody on this fucking property. But enough is fucking enough. Because see, discrimination to me is one shit that I don't fucking play with. And I'm already struggling to accept my fucking legs. But then to continue to deal with this bullshit, fucking enough is enough. I mean, ain't it bad enough I got to live with a fucking rap, but I also now have to find a way to pay for my own ramp when I still owe y'all motherfuckers money, okay? And then y'all want to tell me y'all want me to put money on a fucking room. Put money on a room that I'm living with a fucking rap. Put money on a room, which let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the rest of this shit, okay? Show y'all the rest of this shit. And you're going to watch me show these motherfuckers the rest of this shit on YouTube, my nigga. Yep, and I hope you watching me watch tell you, tell YouTube that I'm putting the rest of this shit on YouTube, my nigga. That's how bold of a bitch I am. I don't do nothing behind nobody motherfucking back, okay? I'm a transparent bitch, all right? I'm gonna be a bitch, I'm gonna be a full-blown motherfucking bitch. And I'm gonna be a full-blown transparent motherfucking bitch. Let me open this curtain. Good morning, Watson. Just give me one second, y'all. I'll put y'all right here real quick. Actually, let's see what this little function today is actually going to follow me. Don't you dare lean back. Why are you going to lean back? Lean back. Me, you stupid little thing. Wrong direction. This way. Thank you. No. This way. This way. This way. Thank you. This way. This, this way. Come and follow me. Follow me. You know what? Fuck you. Okay, we just want to just about to pick you up. Because you just about to take me off. I'm about to turn you off right now. Because you just about to make me mad. Okay. Turn these lights on over here. Because I need y'all to understand what I'm about to show y'all. And like the teacher that I was, let me get my pointer stick. Get my pointer stick, okay? Love you, Delano. See this right here? It's all cracking from a water sleep that I was having that I've been complained about. Good morning. Good morning. See how it's coming now over here? It's going to fall off of here soon. Okay. I'm so lazy to switch this camera. Let me switch this camera. Let me just stop being lazy. Okay, there you go. See that? Okay, now. I just gotta work so hard just to do shit. Oh, my fucking man. Oh, okay. When I first came, it was only up to here. You see where the ceiling is detaching from the wall. Now, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? The detach is now all the way up to here. Okay, so at any point in time, and you see the difference on how it is? All right. This rack will move the fuck away from me. So, I don't know if y'all can tell there's a dip there. I can tell there's a dip. But, you know, sometimes when you take videos of things, it's different. But there's a dip there, okay? Any moment while they keep watching their big dog upstairs or whatever they're doing, my ceiling can come down if they decide to jump, whatever. My ceiling can come down. How my handicap ass going to run outside real quick? 
and the three kids. I see I did what I was supposed to do and I informed them when everything started because the ceiling here had already had problems when we first came. I kept getting told, well, it can't be this, it can't be that, because it was yellow, so I thought it was feet. Well, it has to come from here, it could have been, da -da -da. okay, fine, not a problem. Now that I'm letting them know it's getting worse, look, I can even see the dip from here. I can see the dip right here. If you look right here, the ceiling looks different right here from all the way over here. My brain can't do this. I don't know why. Before, when I was okay, I could do this. I can't. Oh, I shouldn't have really did that. I shouldn't have did that. No, my brain had to pick up the left hand because the right hand couldn't figure it out. Um. But, um. Yeah, so now I'm beginning to want to figure out, I just figured out right now, my brain literally just figured out right now why Roy no longer wants me on the property, why he didn't want me to fill out the RRR, because that means he has to put a promissory note that he's not going to evict us to December 31st, because he doesn't want none of this on YouTube. He doesn't want me to blast this place out, because if I blast this place out, and if I call code of compliance, and apparently I'm a troublemaker, but see, in reality, I'm not a troublemaker. This place was not on my YouTube channel. I was keeping it away from there. And so you want to start treating me like I'm nobody and start disrespecting me like I'm nobody. And see, that's a trigger to my mental health. Because that's exactly what the woman that birthed me did my whole life. So you caused this by treating me like I wasn't shit. You caused this by treating my children. Can somebody pass me my cigarettes and the lighter, please? You caused this by treating me like I was not shit. That was my biggest trigger to my PTSD and everything else. When I decided to embrace my mental health and become one with me, I took a vow to myself that I was no longer going to allow anybody to make me feel that way ever again. It was bad enough that the person who brought me into this world did it. So why was I going to give anybody else the power to do it that did not have any right to do it? And that's why I'm standing up for myself. And that's why I'm advocating for myself. And I disrespectfully will not apologize for it just how you disrespectfully don't care but stood in my room and say that people say that Roy doesn't care you know why they say that Roy because your actions show that Roy and as a grown man another grown adult should not have to tell you Can somebody come get this big fucking roach on this damn wall? This bitch is huge. And I'm not exaggerating. On some real shit, this bitch is huge. Please don't skill up the, my monitor. Okay. Well, you're the wrong person coming for it then. Did you get it? I got it, but I don't know where you went. Great, fucking fantastic. And I did ask for the cigarettes and the lighter. I didn't hear you. How did you turn off that light? That light is plugged in over there. Oh, that's how. Yeah, okay. Hmm, that's strange. So, yeah, I just I'm I'm struggling with the way everybody moves around in the south. I really thought it would be so different, like the hospitality and everything that I was told about. And I'm not seeing it. I guess my standards are different from other people. I guess it's just not meant. Ouch. I guess, can you um yeah. wash this cup with soap and water, please? Uh, uh, uh. And give, you gotta cut your hair. You gotta cut your hair. 
Are you seriously stomping your foot like a dog? Is that better? Alright, we gotta cut you here and use your scalp. Um. My mentality. I need watermelon juice when you, after you're done with that piece. The mentality, I guess, for mental health and myself just don't mix with the self. I don't know. I mean, that may What? What I don't know. You have to ask Beva. I haven't washed the dishes in a few days. Um, again, like I said, I guess the mental, my mental health and the self and I just don't mix. So I may just be in the wrong place altogether. I mean, I don't know. I may be the guilty party and all of this. I don't know. I mean, I, I really don't know. All I know is if I see unfairness, I'm going to speak upon it, whether it is for myself or someone else. I'm going to speak upon it. Just like I'm not friends with 305 because there's a lot of things going on there. But she's living with the rat and the mice. No working stove. Like, there's a lot going on over there, too. And she won't speak up as well because of what... A lot as well. I'm not, that's that's her business to speak. And I've had to advocate a couple of times for her. Like I gave her my fridge that I finally got and after a long ass time because when Jackie moved out, she gave me her actual fridge that she brought here with her. So I gave 305 the fridge that White Wolf gave from his room when he moved out, which is how we finally had gotten a working fridge. Like I'm, that type of person. Just like when we were sitting outside and 305 had told me her stove was working when Howie the maintenance guy was out here Hey Howie, her stove's not working. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm oh gonna God. add not cookies too early, baby. You can have cheese stick or yogurt. I'm gonna advocate. You know what I mean? I don't do that, Delano. I've clearly asked you over and over again to please stop doing that. Please stop telling her no. And I'm gonna advocate. That's just who I am. Okay? That's just me as a person. Especially when it comes to people with mental health. I'm going to advocate. Take it how you want. Take it personal. Don't take it personal. I frankly might here give two flying fucks. Because everybody else has given two flying fucks the danger that they're causing, the harm that they're causing me. So why should I give two flying fucks about them? You want me to care about the roof that you have over your head sitting next door? Then you should give a fuck about the mental health that you're causing me. But you don't. So I don't care. You don't care about me. I'm not going to care about you. You don't care about my kids. I'm not going to care about you. No, not right now. And at this point, I even tried to help the daughter. And I understand, you know what I'm saying, that's a whole different scenario. Because this bag doesn't belong here. This bag belongs here. I understand the scenario. Can you not go to the kids? The kids are not in this video. The camera's being stubborn. Because you guys came out when I was supposed to have my time to myself. I know you I know but I mean she stuck oh okay I get it now. and you weren't supposed to pour this over here this is my workstation that's the kitchen over there I know but we've been through this like you just poured juice all over it's still on the table that is garbage please take the papers and throw them out do you not see that wetness still there And because of the sweetness, you have to bleach and, and wipe. Or the roaches will come. Don't get upset. Don't get frustrated. I'm just teaching you because you know I have the phobia with the roaches. Okay. So unless you want me to be spazzing on you every damn time they come on my fucking desk, I'm going to please ask you politely and not politely because for some reason I'm already agitated right now. Can you please bleach and wipe it down? And let go. I'm going to ask you to politely walk away from behind me because... For some reason, okay, you speak. Mama. Thank you. Does we break it? Just go back in the 
I love when my babies participate in the videos when it's other videos that's not giving important messages. And then it irritates me because I already struggle to stay focused and on. Hey, Watson. Right next to you. It's called look though, and that's the one problem that you don't do. Go back tomorrow. And that's why she no now now it's all about you because I'm talking to you, and you're wasting too many paper towels. These are by size. That's they're not cheap, bro. They are expensive, and these are mainly for when I work on the nails, and I'm sharing them with the household. Too much bleach. <laughs> Okay, done. Did you get it all the way over there where there was juice too? Yeah, take the whole mask with you, why don't you? Alright, all done. Thanks. Get out. Have a nice life. Don't come back. Can you what? Bars. Yeah. How many bars are you trying to take? Because you said bars. Two. Okay. Well, I should take it from here. I forgot the time to pull up in the last day. I forgot something. No, I'm never pulling back. Why is my pain going? The ER gave me another pain pill. Lodidine. 400 milligrams. It worked for Viva. Because she, they gave her, due to the tension headaches that she's having around her eyes, but it don't work for me. It didn't do anything. I forgot. So I guess I'm going to have to edit here. I mean, all of that just... That's why I like to get up early and do these on my own. But because Lyrical slept in the bed with me last night... Yeah. as I got up, it was a wrap. Normally, she doesn't sleep in bed. Yeah, so it just messed up my whole game. So, guess I will just have to end here because I'm already getting a migraine. I don't want my day to start with my left side already not wanting to cooperate. I kind of had a game plan and some stuff I need to get done. And I wanted to really accomplish it but it kind of looks like freaking house is a mess and it may not be a mess to y'all because it's just some stuff on the floor here and there but I can't control nothing else in my life and I have to be able to control certain things to just feel like I'm not losing it it's just part of my OCD and part of everything else and these kids just don't understand it just makes it so much more hard but I hope y'all have a blessed day. Lord knows I need these darn trees to come through, man. But my anxiety is getting worse, which is causing so much chest pains. That's another reason why I went to the ER. The chest pains are getting worse. And when I'm studying, the chest pains are getting worse. Anyways, I hope y'all have a blessed day.